Hi, my name is Michael and I'm from Iconosys. Today we'll be shooting food photography using Shutterstream product photography software. Shutterstream will make it very simple, very fast, and very easy to create high quality results in just seconds. Let's get started. Users will simply want to launch the Shutterstream program. This will bring up the Shutterstream UI in which we will first enable the live view. Live view will stream what the camera sees in real time to the monitor. So what I'll do here is reach in front of the camera and place an object in my lighting environment, which will be an orange and an apple. Okay, as we can see, once again, this is in real time. As you can see, my hand placed in the object. What I want to next do is adjust my camera settings. It's currently pretty dark here, and this is a simulated exposure of what the camera sees. So what I can do is change my aperture, my shutter speed, my white balance, or my sensitization to adjust my exposure for my, light, for my lighting environment. Now, looks pretty good. We're a little bit blurry there, so what I'll do is swap out of autofocus and go into manual focus. And in my manual focus, I can simply, through mouse clicks, adjust my focal point. So, just giving a few different clicks here. As we can see, everything's brought back into focus. Okay, uh, looks like we're still a little bit dark. I'll drop my shutter one more stop here. Looks pretty good exposure there. And we'll go one more. Okay, what we want to do next inside of the program is to define our shooting area. So what I can simply do is I enable the crop tool and then I click and drag on my monitor screen and define my shooting area once again. So this rectangle is going to be the only part of this image that is captured when I hit the snap button. And that snap button is in the bottom left. As we can see, when I hit snap, that is going to instantly capture and upload the image to our program. So you can see a very high quality result there. Looks like we're very uh, correct with our exposure. I uh, did a great job with the crop as well. Uh, simply from here, uh, we could certainly shoot more angles, more food, uh, but we'll just grab this one image here and walk through uh, some of the image processing tools that we see on the right hand side here. Uh, I guess one other thing I should mention is we do have the ability to add text. So if this is maybe for quality control, uh, you can, uh, uh, definitely choose to annotate on your image. So maybe I'll choose red color text and I can say, okay, problem with the apple. As you can see, with the uh, annotation tool, you can instantly apply text to an image. Uh, cool thing about this too is you can actually instantly attach this to, uh, pardon me, you can instantly attach this to an outgoing email by selecting the image with the Xbox and clicking the email tool. So you could say quality control issue C attached image. And there we go. We've uh, communicated with text on our image in just a couple seconds. Uh, obviously if we want this image for a different application, maybe we want uh, to put this on our website or maybe for a product catalog, we can select this image once again with this Xbox Go to our editing tool. Uh, the editing tool is pretty cool. It's a very easy, very uh, efficient tool for, I guess, outputting even higher quality results. So maybe first things first, I'll increase my sharpness. That'll just increase my overall image quality. And the next thing that I'll do is, we're kind of on a grayish background here, but by adjusting my levels tool, I can uh, basically get rid of that gray background. Uh, and we can inspect that with our eyedropper tool up in the top right and we can see it's 255, 255, 255 RGB color value as you can see when I drag my mouse across it tells me that value so now that we have edited our image um, what we want to do is save I guess the other thing I should mention is if we brought a m multiple images inside of here maybe it's 10 images I could have made that editing change and hit apply to all and that change will be made to the batch set of images. So it's great for batch processing as well. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and save this image out. I'm gonna use the dynamic saving tool. Uh, we'll uh, give this a master name. I've already created a profile here instead of walking you through it. Um, but essentially what it is, once again, if I wanted this maybe for my website and I have three different 
image size requirements. Uh, I could say, okay, I want a thumbnail at 150 pixels wide, 72 DPI resolution, JPEG format. I also want this image for the product page on my website, saving to the product page folder. Uh, 72 DPI, 500 pixels wide. Uh, you can also choose to apply a watermark that's your own company logo stamped on the image, transfer these images directly to an FTP site, or if you did wanted to skip this editing, uh, this editing workflow and you just wanted to make an editing profile, you could actually just say automatically apply this editing profile when saving out. So just saving you uh, clicks there. And uh, the last third set of images that we'll save out is the webmaster at 1000 pixel wide, 72 DPI resolution. I will hit the OK button here and that will save this image out three different times to three separate folders and let's go and uh, let's go and inspect these folders here so our website product page uh, our first image here 500 by 321 second image would be uh, the uh, thumbnail at 150 and then our third image obviously will be the website master at a thousand uh, Certainly a very easy and efficient way for anyone, regardless of experience, to create high quality results in just seconds. Thanks for your time.